This is hooked up. All right, Brian, fish on. <laughs> okay, come at me, come at me, come at me. Whoa. He's there, he's there, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's a good fish, huh, yeah. Beautiful. Coming closer. Here comes, here comes. False albacore, you can't eat this. They taste like cat food. You know, I saw some fish on the surface. We were getting a lot of strikes on top on live bait, and so I decided to throw out a fly rod and see if that worked. You know, with a fly rod, you can't really get down too deep, but I just had a pretty good idea that we may get a strike, and we did. You got a kingfish on there, Tom. That's a kingfish, not a bonita. Yeah, it's kingy. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one, too. And nice-sized king mackerel took it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. That was a real treat. It was the first king mackerel I caught on the fly, so that was a lot of fun. Good catch. There Congratulations. The fly caught kingy, not bad. I like that. Blondes or brunette? I was married with a brunette for 25 years. <laughs> I don't know if I should say that. But now I have a blonde. So far, I think I owe you $2. You caught the first fish. It's a dollar for that. And so far, you're catching more fish. So yeah, you're, but you're you up got two the bucks. biggest fish. You're, so up, you're up two bucks. Well, no, that's I think we're get so, even soon. So I think now I owe you one then. So that was, that was great. What are going to do with that? I don't know. You know, it's really fresh, so a little sashimi, yeah. maybe a little uh, you know, marinated Put fish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll be good. We'll be all right. How would you characterize your food? It's not just French food, clearly. How I think it's it's, it? it's, uh, it's contemporary, or at least it's presently contemporary. It's not avant-garde, for sure. But I think it's, it's very much with its time. And especially for me, it has to be linked with France. It has to be linked with my roots. Every one of my restaurants has really a strong story attached to it. Right. And why, the, why is that important? It's my foundation. It's, it's what keeps me grounded. It's what keeps me consistent. And it's what inspires me. So you have a new book coming out? Yes. So next year, 20 years anniversary, we have a new book called oh. Danielle. So mostly recipe from Danielle. I'll put you on the spot here, uh, excluding yourself, excluding present company. Who do you think is the best let's say, young chef working today? To me, I think a creative chef, totally out there doing amazing thing is Grant Ashad. Yeah, okay. I mean, for me, Grant is, is a mind on his own. He's just, uh, he's so creative and so driven and, and so focused with making food who are sometimes playful, but very intelligent as right. well. Uh, you know what, I think we should start fishing again. That's, yeah, that's let's great. go. Cool, let's, let's fish. Oh, fish on. That's a kingy. Oh, 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 jeeper. Whoa. He saw the boat. He wasn't happy about that. Yeah. Look at him. Piece of work, this one. Beautiful. Oh, that's a good one. Man. That's a good fish. Every time he sees the boat, he runs. Yeah, that's it. Hey, zero mackerel. You know what? Hey, there's your sushi right there. That's something different. That's good. That's the first of the afternoon. Yeah, that is a good one, yeah. That's a new species, too. Very good. Oh, hey, ho! Oh. In the box. Yeah, this one is. All right. In All right. The box. One for the box. Nice okay, we nice need more of those. Yeah, that's a heavy fish. Oh! Yeah, that's good eating there. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, what shall I do now? I mean, the guy is taking me to Cuba. Just keep pumping that thing. <laughs> Come on. Jack, be Jack. Thank you, Tom. Good work. I'm very impressed. All right, Cap, let's get out of here. Burgundy or Cabernet? There is no answer to this one. You must know the one I like. We had a great day fishing. We got a bunch of fish to cook up later, but for now, why don't we do a little quick ceviche for a little aperitif and ceviche to start? Absolutely. And so, uh, have you been to Peru? I have not been to Peru. Okay, so I've been to Peru. Okay. And I think I like the way they do ceviche. And listen, it's always a real treat when you catch something like a, a Ciro mackerel or something light like that. You get back and chop some vegetables, a little bit of lime juice, lemon juice, and you got one of the best little appetizers you can get. Voila. Well, thanks for wow. that. That's delicious. Thanks, God, I fished that mackerel. Now, you were honored with the French Legion of Honor, right? Yeah. As a kid growing up in Lyon on a farm who decides to cook, well, one of the highest honors to get in is a non-military honor in France, right? Absolutely. It's not the highest. There's ranks but, within, but still, within the Legion of Honor. A kid Honor. growing up in Lyon, in, you know, in the 60s on a farm, know. you know. My take... parents are very proud of that. I'm more proud of that accomplishment for my family and my parents sure. because 
no one else in our family were distinguishing themselves to the extent I did uh, for our country, except mm -hmm. you know being a good citizen. But that don't always qualify. <laughs> A little glass of Chablis. A little wine to finish the day. This has also whet the appetite for dinner. That was a four-star day actually fishing. Thank I, I, you. I'm saying this is wonderful. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for having me here. Great day on the boat. <laughs> Thanks. Some great fishing and great friends. Thank you, and, Tom. And some great food as well. You give so. me maybe one of the best day <laughs> I ever had in Florida today. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Cheers. Hi, I'm Tom Colicchio. I'm in the Florida Keys with my friend Daniel Balud. We had a great day fishing. Check out my show, Hooked Up. Subscribe right here. <laughs>